What's up guys? How you doing? It's a beautiful day today. It's 46 degrees right now, but it's gonna to get to about 30. I'm outside, about to work on this truck. We have to do two brake chambers. I got the new ones right there. We're changing the ones on the steel tires. So we're gonna to have to take this pin out right here, take the bolts out, I'm definitely gonna have to unscrew this right here and that should be all that it takes now i'm not really sure all that i need right now but i'm just going as we go i got a needle nose i got that beast right here my feelings boy I'd be scared for that lens Okay, so I don't recommend doing it from the actual steer chamber door where now that line leads up to, line which off. is the relay that it's hooked up to, because that one, it, it doesn't turn with the hose. It's on its own, like, spin, I guess you could say. I don't even know how to explain it. But basically, don't do it like I did. <laughs> that wasn't ideal, but I got it off. This is what the new one looked like. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to remove that one joint put that in on and put whatever was back here as well look like it was back. i'm not even all the way sure someone just pulled up though all right i gotta go and look at this check engine light real quick so the driver get back on the road so we'll return to the program shortly my name is rebecca Uzuwechi, and every day i feel fulfillment in what i do Work is a highlight for me. I'm not looking for just vacations or just little things to fill my life. I feel engagement and passion in my work. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel I have the freedom to create things and give other people value. At the same time, I get a sense of adventure, a sense of risk, and a sense of discovery. If you have so, anything fixed, heavy duty, light duty, you let me know, Smart Motors. Getting into knowledge is the best interest. All right, so we're back now. Um, had to look at a, a pack car, or well, Peterbilt, I should say. Um, check engine light. Usually, well, with this one, sometimes sometimes it lets you know what it is, but this time around, they didn't even let us know. It just said it was an undocumented fault, meaning that, <coughs> meaning that we're gonna have to call pack car and see what the issue is. Nah. Nah, we never called it. So, uh, but back to the program, like I said. So took this off. This is where the brake hose is going into. And this right here is on the back end, right there, as you can see. I'm basically going to transfer to the new one. Typically, you probably would use a vice, you know what I'm saying? But we like me. Yeah, you don't need no vice. I am the vice, right? I am the vice. So, anywho, let's transfer.
All right, now we in business. Now we can get to work, all right? To make life easier, just get a hammer. Boom. Start putting these on, and you're good. Oh, Paul. So here we go with the end product. As you can see, make sure you have both your uh, pins up in there. Make sure you got the cotter pins up in there. Got these straps tightened down. That tightened down. Tightened down. Everything should be good to go. Now that was pretty. Now that was pretty simple, guys. You know. Um, so good luck. Wait, one more thing. Actually, don't forget to put this back on. Just, uh, just put it somewhere, anywhere, I mean, as long as you got the cure like that, <clears throat> you can actually, if you want to, you can make it a little bit tighter, you know, make it look like that, you know. So yeah, and we're in business. Right now I'm on the other side. Um, didn't really know how to really start off the video, but basically, Got some small little needle nose. I mean, it don't matter as long as the ba ba needle nose are for taking the cotter pins up out of the, the pin itself. Got an adjustable wrench. Uh, I have two just in case, you know. Uh, I got a hammer just in case. You gotta get that pin in or out if it's giving you a problem. Uh, uh, got a 15 16. Don't mind the mess of my uh, toolbox. Uh, actually, let's do this. So, we have a 1516. We have 1516 wrench as well as an impact. Now, you can use a wrench or you can use a ratchet. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? I used the impact for the top bolt. It's the only one I was able to get to. And I had to use, I just used the wrench for the bottom one. So it's really up to you. Um, but also another tip, you know, if you're gonna replace one, make sure you replace the other. Uh, it only makes sense. Um, and for easy access, I currently have it aimed to the left right now or turned to the left. But if you are to turn it to the right, it'll give you more space to get up in there instead of having the tires either straight, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, make sure you got the tires aimed right. All right, don't replace the other side. So, move to the other side, yeah. Um, thank you for watching, though. Um, thank you for watching, honestly.